Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Rio. I'm Yijian. I'm Zhao Bing. So today we'd like to present our project to you, titled Investigating the Antibacterial and Antioxidant Properties of Chinese Herbs. This is our presentation outline. Tenet ginseng is believed to have healing properties and we suspect that they have antibacterial and antioxidant properties because other less common types of ginseng are known to exhibit such properties. Wolfberries are believed to have nutritional value as they contain significant amount of nutrients to supplement the body's needs. Similarly, for eucomia, its bark also has nutritional value. Our aim is to find the antibacterial and antioxidant properties of ginseng. Our hypothesis, hence, is ginseng has the best antibacterial and antioxidant properties. These are our variables. So there are three phases to our methodology. The first being choosing the best solvent for extraction. The second is the, is the testing of properties of our herbs. And lastly, the analysis of our results. So firstly, for choosing the best solvent, we add 25 grams of ginseng root powder into this various solvent seen here for one day. After that, we will centrifuge them at around 7,500 rounds per minute for 10 minutes. And after that, we will carry out the antibacterial and antioxidant test. So for our antioxidant test, we first place a blank cuvette and a control cuvette into the spectrophotometer. After that, we will remove the control cuvette here and place in the test cuvette. Finally, we obtain the DDPH value. So this is our antibacterial test. So first we have the agar plate here with bacterial culture spread on it. After that, we will punch three wells into the agar plate. And we will fill the first one with bleach, which is a positive control. The second will be our herb extracts. And lastly, 50% methanol, which is a negative control. Then, we will fill a petri dish with 3 ml of bacteria, E. coli. And after that, we are adding 1 ml of ginseng extract for our test, and 1 ml of water for our control. So these are our apparatus, these are our materials. So for the results of the DPPH test, a decrease in the DPPH value will result in an increase in the antioxidant properties. So this is a table showing the DPPH value before and after 10 minutes. So as can be seen here, deionized water has the best antioxidant properties because it gives the lowest value of, uh, it gives the lowest DPPH value. So this table shows the DPPH, the DPPH value of our various extracts. So as can be seen here, ginseng has the best antioxidant properties among the three herbs because it has the lowest DPPH value. So in conclusion, ginseng extract has the best antioxidant properties followed by wolfberry and eucomia. For results of the antibacterial properties, an increase in the area of inhibition zone or means that increase in the area increase in the bacterial antibacterial property. This shows the antibacterial properties of the various solvents. From this graph, you can see that water has the best antibacterial property because it has the largest inhibition zone, followed by methanol, dichromatin, hexane. From this graph, from this table, you can see the antibacterial properties of several herbs. From this graph, you can see that ginseng has the best antibacterial property as it has the largest inhibition zone followed by Woodbury and Ecomel. In conclusion, water is the best solvent for extraction, and ginseng has the best antibacterial and antioxidant properties among the three herbs, followed by Woodbury and Ecomel. These are our references. So we have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.